Imagine this scenario. You're 30 years old and you lose your sense of hearing. But then doctors tell you that you may have the chance to get it back. It sounds like a good thing, right? Well, for Dawn, making the decision was a bit more complicated. I lost my hearing about 15 years ago. We knew that her hearing loss was as bad as it was when we would be talking to her and she would turn and walk away. That's when we really noticed that there was a serious problem. When I was 30, I made my first appointment to have my hearing check. I realized that I had profound hearing loss. And I had lost speech recognition, so hearing aids have never been an option for me. Communicating for me is extremely exhausting. I communicate with people by reading lips. It's almost impossible for me to follow a conversation. In a group, I'm lost very fast. I have no idea what anybody's saying is I'm completely unable to focus in here right now. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to be in large groups, so I tend to stay with a small group of people that I'm comfortable with. The first time I met with Dr. Slattery was two years ago, and he told me that I was a candidate for the cochlear implant. It was very hard to make the decision to have the surgery. It took a lot of influence from my family. I'm not afraid of the surgery. I'm more afraid of hearing. I've never heard my eight-year-old son's voice. In my mind, I can hear my son's voice, but I know that I don't hear it. So maybe I'm afraid of what I will hear compared to what my brain tells me that I hear. Just yesterday, she was able to hear her eight-year-old son's voice for the very first time, and we were there to capture it. Dawn's activation went fantastic. She's going to leave here soon to go meet her son and hear his voice for the first time. I still haven't spoken to my youngest son, and so I'm looking forward to hearing him. She never heard my voice. I'm just really excited that she could finally hear. I'm nervous. I'm hopeful, but I'm also afraid. I guess I still have that fear of I'm not going to hear him. Hey, Mom, could you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Now you can talk and you can hear me. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Are you happy that I can hear you? Yes. <laughs> now she can finally hear me and I'm not silent anymore.